Hello, hello. So it was my birthday the other day and I decided to get myself a new keyboard because the previous one was wireless and I had it for 15 years. And it started it started to have some issues with some keys. They were sometimes not registering when I hit it and some keys were so, sort of I couldn't push them down so they were starting to break and I got this keyboard from Logitech and it's from a, sort of the previous year it's from 2017 and 2018 when I record this video and it's the G413 and the difference with the new one with the 513 is that the 513 have multiple colors on the backlit keys but I'm only going to use white anyway so this was just perfect for that and it has an aluminum front plate, plate supposed to be it sounds like plastic but and this got the new roamer keys and they are supposed to be the um, not the linear but the other with some yeah the tech tactile keys but I don't really feel that much uh, yeah, a little bit tactile but the previous keyboard had a lot more tactile you could really feel the bump you could barely feel the bump here and the other difference is that uh, the letters are smaller on this one so I sometimes I actually have a hard time writing like shift and the backlit I never had the backlit uh, keyboard before so this is kind of a new thing and I had to get used to it a little bit <laughs> same thing same thing with the attack with the uh, rumor case I had to get used to that and there's another difference between the previous keyboard I had and this one is and that's the surface area where you press the key they are slightly smaller on this one and the keys seem to be put they are a shorter distance between the keys as well so they are very <laughs> tight together so I got to get used to that as well and there's also some other things here for example this is I live in Sweden so this is the Nordic sort of keyboard layout and for some reason they put both Danish and Swedish keys here for this three special keys or these two here that's a little bit annoying but <laughs> what the hell and also back here uh, underneath the escape key there are a bunch of other letters there uh, and another thing that I noticed with the backlit is that it doesn't light up the entire letter and you can especially see that I don't know if you can see that on camera but on the number key especially this key it's kind of grayish around the edges and the number keys here they are slightly gray at the top and also these number keys the number pad so 789 yeah joke <laughs> but they are at the top of the 7 that they, they are darker than the rest of the uh, the uh, keys and you can change the uh, brightness of this key we have a function key and then you press F7 you can turn them off I think the highest setting are a bit too bright so I just go down two steps so that might be why they are a bit darker and the commercial said that uh, the LED in here are supposed to lit, lit up the entire thing here because it's bigger somehow but I can't see that it's bright in the center but they are darker on the edges so page down here it's almost all in dark color <laughs> So that's a little bit sad because these keyboards are kind of expensive especially here in Europe and Scandinavia I paid thousand, thousand Swedish crowns on, for this and that's I would say about $150 and this is the previous generation the new generation 513 cost about 50% more 
that will be like two hundred dollars and the sad thing with this one as well it doesn't have any med uh, dedicated media keys they, they would actually fit over here and there's some kind of sticker here as well <laughs> but uh, the media keys could uh, easily just fit here Instead, right now, you have to press down the function key and then press F9 to F12. Kind of annoying, it's, it's a one hand thing, but you have to do it with two hands. You can kind of do it like this. <laughs> you can sort of invert the function key, so it's always activated. But that's kind of annoying because <laughs> then I can't use the F keys on these which I need in some games annoying so there are a couple annoying things like that but otherwise I'm uh, pretty happy with it and they sound a little bit more than my previous but not too much I didn't want any of the red keys and mechanical keys because they are way too noisy and no, no way that I'm going to run the blue keys because they are super noisy. Brown keys are kind of okay, but they're still noisy. So that's why I chose the Logitech with the uh, Roamer keys because they are not too loud. Because one really annoying thing when I watch Twitch streams and when people have their mechanical keys and all you hear is click, 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 click. And it's overpower the uh, microphone voice. So all you hear is click 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 click. That is really annoying. But anyway, just a short. I haven't had it. I have it for like one day, so I can't really do much of a review. But it has a has a USB connection here, and you can. I have connected my mouse to that. Then you have one big cable going back and it splits up into two cables. So one USB is for the keyboard and one USB is for this pass through. And it's only USB 2. Both of these cables or connections are USB 2. So if you connect a thumb drive here, you're not going to get that very fast speed. So because of USB 2. But the good thing with USB 2 is that it works better when you use like UEFI or the BIOS. Some keyboards that use USB 3 have some issues sometimes. You can't really use them in the BIOS. But uh, USB, USB 2 works a lot better. And I'm only going to have like my mouse and the keyboard connected to this anyway. So I don't really need USB 3 speeds. And it's nice to have the mouse cable here and I just bundle it up a little bit. So I don't have a, have a second cable going back there. And it's also good if you have a wireless mouse, you just place a dongle here. They are usually quite small, so that's good. So yeah, just a short video. And of course this is the Nordic version here in Scandinavia, so it might look a little bit different for the American version. I know the American version the enter key here are slightly shorter, but they are longer like this. So this is the sort of Scandinavian style of keyboard. So yeah, that was that for now. See you later.